Greetings, this is J. Peter Berzizi, and this demo is from my Exchange 2010 Backup and Recovery course. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are on our Windows 7 desktop system. This is our client system in the domain, and this time we're not looking to play around with Outlook, but instead we're actually looking to play around with Excel. So you can see I've downloaded the two storage calculators, and let me just show you where I got these from. Here right on the Exchange Team blog site, you can download the Exchange 2010 Mailbox Server Role Requirements Calculator, and it takes you over to a spot where you can download it. But right from Microsoft Download Center, you can look for the Storage Calculators for System Center Data Protection Manager 2010. You can see that there's one for Exchange, Hyper-V, SharePoint, you download these calculators and then let's just take a look at the different ones. So the first one is the mailbox server role requirements calculator and you can see that it's pretty involved. This is the first page where you put in all of your input and there's some standard information already there. You can change the values for some of this. High availability deployment for example, yes, you can change that and you can start looking down the list of all of the different values that you can put in. In some cases if you don't know the answers to some of the questions you can read the instructions to see if this is something you even need to worry about changing. Other times you might just leave it at the default that's already put in here and just make changes to the areas that you're absolutely sure you know the answers to. So for example total number of tier 1 user mailboxes Projected mailbox number growth percentage, total send receive capability, mailbox per day, average message size, mailbox size limit. You may not know all of this. There are tools that can help you to get some of that information, however. But the more you put in, the more helpful this tool can be. You can see that uh, we have tier 2 user mailbox configuration, which currently it's not set. And once you start putting in numbers here, It opens everything else up and you can start to make some changes in here. It asks about the backup configuration. How are you doing your backups? What are you looking for? You can choose different backup options, the type of backups you're doing, weekly, full, daily incremental, let's say. And then what happens is on each of these other tabs, the data will change here to provide you with information. So you have backup requirements and see we told it that we want to do a daily full with incrementals. So you can see how it tries to assist us with showing us the number of databases that we would have and then a schedule for us to use. So some prefer to do all of this on their own. They may find these types of calculators to be a little bit overbearing and that's fine you can certainly work all of this out on your own but you might just take a look at the calculator just to see if this is something that can help you or you might learn something new about your organization of mailbox servers that you didn't know before so this is a really good calculator for that in terms of working specifically with data protection manager the second calculator is a little bit simpler you'll see here that it doesn't ask for a whole lot of information as opposed to the other calculator and it just asks for your information in terms of are you working with a DAG, what are the total number of databases on each node, number of copies of each database and you can put that information in and then it spits out the results in the other two worksheets below and the whole goal is to help you to figure out how you're going to set up your protection groups and how you're going to set up your backups for all of that. So every organization is different and so the numbers that you put in will differ from everybody else and this calculator will just help to spit out some valuable information. Not that you have to follow it and that's actually something that we should make clear. Although these are provided by Microsoft, Microsoft does not require you to use the storage calculators that they provide. They do not require you to use any calculator. So you don't have to feel that support from Microsoft is contingent upon you using these calculators. 
sure, they offer them, but they're not saying that you must use them or they won't support your configuration. Some folks like to guesstimate, and that's fine if you have the resources to do that, but others are on a shoestring budget. They're looking to make the most out of their configuration, and these calculators can certainly help you to do that. All right, so let's jump back over to our slides and let's review what we've discussed in this lesson. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training, please visit www.trainsignal.com.